Homecoming this weekend had a wide variety of events for students to interact, cheer on, and win prizes. Moving Mavs played against former UTA teammates to help them prepare for nationals in two weeks. The Office of Students with Disabilities in the big event talked about how students can get involved with Wednesday's Be the Change Forum. The Native American Student Association planned to give students a great time at this year's UTA Benefit Pow Wow. Saturday, fraternity and student organizations showed off their cooking skills at the tailgate party and chili cook-off outside Trinity Hall. We have our multicultural Greek council. The women's basketball team took a blow Saturday afternoon, losing the homecoming game to Northwestern State 66-58. During halftime, Omar Rosales and Miriam Zahai were named homecoming king and queen. Moving Mavs played their alum game Saturday evening. Current players were given the chance to play against former Moving Mavs, some which were teammates. Coach Doug Gardner talked about how this game helped the wheelchair basketball team prepare for the Nationals. Well, it gives them a chance to get out there and play, and it gives the alumni a chance to say, hey, you know, you might want to work on this, you might want to work on this, and some of those alumni, I mean, everyone out there has won a national championship. Every one of those alumni who's played for us has been on a national championship team. So they've, they've had experiences that some of these guys hadn't, and it's a good opportunity for them to have some input in a program and, and feel connected back with the program again. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a great great time to go and play with like all the all the guys that I went to school with that were there. Like I think like eight of them I went to school with, so that was a lot of fun to come back and see all of them. It's always fun to see like where we are now compared to where where we came from. You know, um, we always talk about leaving a legacy, and that was the legacy back. You know, when they played, and it's, it's good to see, and it's fun to see where where it was back when when those guys played, and and where we are now with the legacy we're trying to leave. Even though it was just kind of a mixture of random players from here and there, they were still playing some very high level competition. You know, a few players who have been on the USA team, several players who have played internationally. So for them to go up against that kind of experience and talent level is going to do nothing but help them to elevate their game for nationals. Penny Akery, director of the Office of Students with Disabilities, talk about Wednesday's Be the Change Forum with some help from UTA volunteers. Well, at the forum, we're going to have a panel of four people who are working in the area of disability in the community, and they're going to talk about individual and um, agency advocacy for people with disabilities. Um, each panelist will talk briefly about their agency, their personal experience with advocacy, and their, their mission, and then there'll be a period where we'll allow uh, the audience to ask questions and, and so forth. People just getting the ball rolling and going through proper channels, gathering facts, um, knowing the law, yes, there's ways to bring about change. You can go to www.uta.edu slash the big event, pick a project that you want to volunteer for, click the link, sign up individually for all your information on the site, and then download the required waiver and turn it into Bonnie Rodriguez. Uh, you can also be a site leader. All applications are on our website. Um, they are due March 11th, so it's coming up pretty soon. So pick a site, um, encourage all your friends to volunteer. We are go shooting for a goal of at least 1,000 volunteers. Micah Johnson, president of the Native American Student Association, talked about what people can expect at the 16th annual UTA Benefit Pow Wow. We're an organization that just tries to unite people in a common knowledge to educate them. Our Powell says for itself it's our benefit Powell, which means that the proceeds go to scholarships for UTA students. And actually we'll have a booth set up at the Powell with the information about our group and the scholarship as well. March 5th, 2011, it is a free admission event. And it'll happen right during the entry, so 6 p.m. is to be. Want more videos? Check out some of these recent Shorthorn features.